Hello everyone in this video, let us use a script owner to create an issue. I have so far more than 70 videos on just script owner. I have been making a lot of videos on this topic, but I don't think I have ever talked about creating an issue using script owner. So that is what I wanted to do today in this uh, video. I thought uh, why not uh, use uh, a simple script to create uh, an issue and I think uh, it makes sense to uh, do this using uh, script now because uh, you can first of all and I think it is very important uh, to know how it is done. Of course in this example I want to show you and I want to basically use a very simple example but uh, you can always modify it. You can also create issues in bulk using uh, a script now. So for this uh, example, I will be basically using issue manager and if you have been following uh, my script runner videos, uh, I am always talking about uh, different uh, classes that will help you in uh, doing something useful and, uh, useful and of course uh, meaningful when it comes to solving problems and creating an issue uh, using a script, uh, using a Groovy script with the help of script runner for Jira is uh, a very valid uh, use case. Now, using the issue manager, you need to basically call a method called as a create issue object. And this particular method only has two parameters. Number one is the user. So user is basically the person who is going to execute this uh, script. So if you're trying to create an issue, you need to have uh, the create issue permission on that particular project. So just make sure that this user has the relevant rights. And the second parameter is basically the issue object that you can create, that you can uh, define in your script. Now for this particular example, I am first uh, simply using uh, this uh, issue object where I'm uh, basically defining that this particular issue should be part of my specific project. And this specific project is nothing but uh, something that you can define. So you can also define this uh, this project object uh, with the help of this uh, project manager. And you can use a method called as get project object, uh, get, get project obj by key. So you need to specify the key here. So my key is of course scrum, which is the name of my, or not the name, but the key, uh, project key of my project. And uh, the, uh, Next thing that you need to specify is summary. So summary is a mandatory field. And when you create a, one uh, one uh, issue, you need to also specify the issue type. Now what you can do, you can uh, uh, use this issue type ID. So issue dot issue type ID uh, will accept uh, something like this, a number. So you can define that this particular issue type ID should be my issue type when you're creating this issue. So for my example, I think my issue ID is, uh, uh, I'll check and verify, but I believe it is uh, a story if I'm not wrong, but we can always change it. And I'll, I'll show you in a minute how to find all the relevant issue type IDs in your project. Now, one thing that I need to do here is I need to maybe uh, modify the summary. So demo uh, issue created from the script. Now to run this, I will go to my uh, Jira instance and I will uh, use a script. I'm using this file tab here and I'll simply click on the run button. So when I click on the run button, I don't, yeah, so I see this uh, message where I have uh, scrum-38 uh, returned. So it means that it worked, hopefully. So if I go to my project and if I refresh, I can uh, see that I have a new issue called demo issue created from the script. Now you can see here that the issue type is a story and uh, the issue created date is just now. So, so the script will basically pick up the uh, date, the current date, but you can also specify something like this, issue dot uh, created, and you need to use a timestamp uh, to define the date. So we'll, we'll not do it in this example, we'll just let Jira uh, pick up the date, the current date. And you can also do a lot of other things. So for example, if you type in here issue dot uh, uh, 
assignee so you can also assign it to someone so as you can see here that when you select issue.assignee the uh, type should be application user so you can't just you can't just say uh, user it has to be some uh, some some I mean, the, the type should be application user which is I believe user so I can do that and just to show you how to first figure out the relevant issue types you can use the project and then you can use something like this get issue types and uh, I'll you know first re return this and I'll go back to the script and if I run the script it will uh, give me a list of all the issue types in my instance so I it, it is of course uh, you know showing me the uh, uh, I mean, it is basically the uh, list of, uh, let me just check, it is a list of issue types, but I need to maybe just view the, or get a list of names. So I can do something like this, like star, so it will basically iterate over the list, and it will give me the name. And uh, if I run this again, hopefully it will give me the list. So if you look at this list, this list has task, subtask, checklist, story, bug, and epic. Now, you can see here that the third last is story. So let us create a story. Uh, so this was story earlier. So let us create a bug. Let us create a bug. So bug is my second last uh, option in the list. So I need, I need to first figure out the second last ID. So I can quickly do something like this ID. So I can fetch the ID instead. And uh, if I run this, I will get this ID here, which is 10102. So I'll change it here and let us run this script now I'll uh, basically uh, remove this line so the script will continue to run and if I run this hopefully it will work so it says scrum 39 if I go back to my uh, project and, 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 and if I do a refresh it will basically create one issue for me called demo, demo issue created from the script and you can see here that uh, uh, in the previous example, the assignee was unassigned, but in this case, the assignee is my admin. So, and of course, the issue type is bug. So it's a very simple example, and I want, wanted to basically share how to create an issue because when you know how to create an issue, you can also do some uh, other uh, things like, you know, you can create the issue in bulk. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.